feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off Hi everyone, I hope you're really okay. Welcome back to my channel and hello to a brand new video. The rail is out, the clothes are stacked on it. I feel like I haven't done this for a long, long time and yeah, just thought we'd try it this way today because sometimes I just feel like it's so much easier to hide everything up show you, try on, work it that way. But anyway, as you can see from the title, today I'm teaming it up with my faves once again, Pretty Little Thing, and I'm gonna be bringing you some Valentine's Day inspiration. Now, I know not everybody celebrate Valentine's Day, but personally, I always feel like Valentine's Day is just a good old excuse, whether you're single or in a relationship, to grab your partner, grab your bestie, get dressed up and just go out for some food or, you know, night out if you want to. But yeah, I just like to use it as a reason to go out because if you're anything like me I can be a little bit lazy I love a night in during the winter months so I feel like date nights girls night outs are quite limited so yeah Valentine's Day is like my ultimate reason to get myself off the sofa and go out for some food or drinks. So with that being said, I've compiled a few outfits to give you some date night inspo. I've gone for some more like casual looks like trouser top combos with blazers, but I've also gone for some quite dressy options if you do want to get super glammed up or if you've got like a date with someone, maybe it's your first date and you want to go all out and impress. Yeah, I'm going to get straight in. Before I do get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you once again to Pretty Little Thing for sponsoring this video. You guys know the drill by now. I don't even need to tell you how much I love Pretty Little Thing. They have been my go-to fashion website since day one. Um, so yeah, super, super thankful to be once again collaborating with them. But anyway, I'm going to shut up, get straight onto the video. So if you want to see some date night, sort of going out inspiration from Pretty Little Thing, then please continue watching. Okay, so jumping into the first outfit I got from Pretty Little Thing and it is this. This to me is a very typical date night attire. When it comes to going out for food, I like to sort of dress smart casual. If I'm going somewhere really nice, I'll go full out glam. But just for a normal sort of date night, this is very typical for me. So as you can see, it's this beautiful utility shirt dress in this beige colour. It's sort of like a mid beige, it's not a light beige, not a dark beige. So yeah, I think that's quite an accurate coloured description. I absolutely adore this. I just think it's so comfortable for the colder months. It's got long sleeves. Um, as you can see it's got these beautiful utility pockets it also has a tie waist which you guys know i love because you can cinch yourself in it's in 100 percent cotton i checked the label i had to iron it because it's one of those items of clothing where you get it out of the bag and it is creased to death um but yeah probably could have done with a better iron but i've not got my steamer my mum's robbed it at the moment so i I'm not great with the iron, I'm better with the steamer, but anyway, it will do for now. I've teamed it with a knee-high pair of boots because I feel like these are pretty much a staple in my wardrobe during sort of winter months. And I've also teamed it with this beautiful satin bag, again, from Pretty Little Thing. I just feel like the bag complements dress so well because it keeps it dressed up, if that makes sense. A bag can play a big difference into the outfit being dressed down or dressed up, so I just feel like the satin finish keeps it very goy outy, very glam, um, and yeah, just complements it so well. But yeah, absolutely love this. I got a size eight for reference. They also do this in the tall range and the petite range, I believe. So yeah, have a look. There's a few different colors, but I absolutely love this. Okay, this next outfit, you are not even ready for. If you are looking for that date night outfit, you're going out with certain someone, you wanna give full sexy vibes, you wanna be a little bit classy, comfy, um, and not too OTT, this for me is that perfect outfit. So I'm gonna come in and show you in a little bit more detail because there is one little issue and the issue is the top. I need boob tape. Like I'm just falling out at the moment and the boobs on their own without a bra, they're admittedly a little bit saggy. Um, so this is the top and I just can't get over how stunning this top is. So as you can see, it's sort of like a blazer-esque top, but then it has this beautiful elasticating ruchness and sort of like flare sleeves i just think the detailing of that is so pretty and just so different to what i own and have in my wardrobe already so that's why it really really caught my eye when i saw this on the website and then as you can see it just has this beautiful plunge neckline it does also gape there so i would definitely recommend having some high-waisted trousers unless you want sort of like your midriff on show um which i mean i'm definitely not toned enough to do that and then it just does up with a tight detailing here now as you can see i don't have the most perkiest or bright view probably like the most of us to be completely honest and with this outfit you definitely can't wear a bra so there is a solution i just don't have a solution on hand with me right now but 
pretty little thing. I'm pretty sure they do sell boob tape. I've seen it on there. Um, I'll have a look if I can find it on there. And if I can, I'll link it in the description bar. But they do this tape where you can literally pull your boobs up for one so they sit more perkier on your chest and then you can obviously stick this down so you're not going to like be flashing and like how much better will that look to that side like that's droopy boob like flappy we could have risk of showing um, and that's like perky boob with it all stuck down so yeah this has the potential to be an absolute 10 on top i got it in a size 6 just for reference i'm going to go with the blazer as you can see i've simply just teamed a pair of faux leather trousers now these are actually cropped i didn't realize that when i bought them um so you could just wear obviously full length ones if you want to i do really like the crop them i feel like these would look really nice with some sort of like lace-up heels as well so you can put like all the lace up here and over the top that would look stunning but i have actually teamed it with these heels so i'm going to show you these because again they're from pretty little thing i actually purchased these out of my own money so a lot of the items in this haul are gifted i just want to you know put that out there but i did order a ton of stuff myself so yeah i'll tell you what i bought and um what i got gifted just you know to be completely transparent and um, yeah i picked these up myself you know when you do that thing when you go on pretty little thing and you see something new in and you're like i need um i just I find it hard to walk in heels as it is and when I saw that they do these mules, these quilted mules, they look very sort of like designer s dupes and they do this small heel on them, I just knew they were going to be the dream, the dream team. So yeah, I just had to get them whilst they're in stock because you know what things are like, they always go out of stock and it's just so depressing. Adore these, they're so comfy. These are going to be like my new go-to heel, that is for sure. And then I also teamed it with, again, this beautiful satin bag. This was bought with my own money. And these were also bought with my own money as well. And these, again, are from Pretty Little Thing. How stunning are these earrings? Isn't it crazy as well how you can just put on a statement pair of earrings and it just really lifts the outfit? And um, I love these. I'm going to get so many wears out of these, that's for sure. So, yeah, so, so pleased with this outfit. Just need somewhere to go out now and wear it. And also, just for reference, I got a six in both the top and the bottoms. Okay, so we're getting a little bit dressed dressier please bear with me this whole haul isn't a sort of nude camel and beige show that is color it's just because i'm doing it in the order on the rail which was a color order so yeah but anyway the next date night outfit that i picked up from pretty little thing is this beautiful ruched mesh dress now like i said already i go two ways with date night attire i either go like super full glam dress or i'll go like trousers heels and top combo and this is obviously my dress combo so they do this in a bunch of different colors i was actually going to get more of like a pink shade but you know thought i'd stick to why no and it's this beautiful light beige color so it's just a simple strappy dress really really supportive here like i love how you can wear a strapless bra still um and then i just love mesh i love this sort of like ruched mesh look on a dress i feel like it's really really flattering because you can sort of like ruche it up you can even adjust the length so obviously i just put it all the way down um which goes just over my knee you can just pull it up and wear it a little bit shorter if you would like to so i really like that about like mesh ruched dresses i just think it's such a stunning dress i feel like it's such a simple style but it just really works it's really classy i've I had it with my trusty perspex heels again the black bag because i've kept the earrings on because i just thought they complemented the dress really really nicely so i've kept them on kept the black bag in and then just gone with some perspex or like transparent heels i got this in a size eight as well and um, yeah it just fits spot on so love this next up we are back to the trouser heel combo because you know i love a good trouser and the ones i picked up were these beautiful cargo trousers with this belt which actually comes with it which is part of the reason why i love these so much i love it when a trouser just has that one little thing on it that just sort of stands it out a little bit more than the rest um and i love this sort of like seat belt belt whatever you want to call it you know the drill they were like really really popular last summer i love cargo trousers and i especially love them for an evening out because i think you can really really dress them up with a pair of heels and a nice going out bag these are in a sort of very light beige color i don't know what the actual color description is of these um it says cream ah cream that probably explains why i'm saying very light beige yeah they are definitely cream and they just simply have these beautiful pockets either side like i said the belt comes with it which i really love as well just as that extra detailing and then as you can see i've just simply teamed these with my quilted mules again from pretty little thing black blazer from pretty little thing and then just a simple black top you could put any top with it you could put just a bandeau top 
um, a bodysuit, whatever sort of black top you want. I feel like so many different combos would go with these. Yeah, another swimming outfit. I got the trousers in a size A just for reference. Okay, so before I show you the next outfit that I'm wearing, the next outfit I should have been wearing um, was this absolutely stunning corset long sleeve jumpsuit. Now, I actually took this on holiday with me. I did put a picture on my Instagram, which I'll include here somewhere. And I had so many compliments and so many of you asking where this is from. Pretty little thing, but what I did when I was getting out of it is, oh, has anybody done this? So when you're struggling to get out of something, like the zip's not coming down, and it basically got caught in some cotton, and I can sometimes be a little bit impatient. When I want to get out of something, I want to get out of something. Like, I'm wanting to take the jumpsuit off, so I yanked the zip, and it's now come off the track. So I'm gonna have to see if my mum can fix this. Normally, like she's really good with fixing things like this. So hopefully she can. But I just wanted to show it you anyway because it is really, really beautiful. And I just love it. I got it in a size six. I probably would have upsized. I feel like with jumpsuits, I like to order them in a six because I'm sure. So if I order them in an eight, they end up being like really long. So yeah. Anyway, um, I did get it on, it did manage to fit, but yeah, maybe would have got an A just because of the corset making it like a little bit tighter. As you can see, it has this beautiful corset detailing at the top here, it's all like boned um, and really, really good quality. And then we have these beautiful sort of like puff sleeves, they're like balloon sleeves almost, and then they're like cuffed and sort of tapered at the end, which is a really nice detailing. And then it just goes down into a really nice wide leg. It's so floaty, so flattering and comfy. Um, it sort of like sits off your shoulders as well. It's just a really, really beautiful jumpsuit. And I think it will be so stunning for date nights, going out with the girls, holidays. The list is honestly endless. Um, so yeah, I am gonna link this in the description bar so you can check it out. Okay, now we're moving on to some color and something a little bit more, you know, out there and different. So first thing I picked up was this beautiful coordinate. You guys know by now, I love a coordinate, I love a two-piece. I just think they're really effortless, really chic, really stylish, and they're always quite sophisticated as well. So I come across this one, and admittedly, I don't normally go for a floral pattern, but I really liked this. There was just something about it that was just, you know, saying, Laura, try it, it could work. And having put it on, I actually do really, really like it. I think I need to sort the shirt out a little bit because it's making me look like I've got an extended belly, which I haven't. So when you took something in and it's not like me. Anyway, so it is a shirt and wide leg trouser combo. I'm gonna come in and just show you in a little bit more detail. Oh God, here we go. So this is the only thing with the shirt, guys. I would have preferably liked a tie waist belt. I just think when things don't have a tie waist belt and they are gapy, they are plunged necks, it just means you've then got to go and, you know, get the boob tape out and stick yourself in just to ensure no spillages. And also, I'm just, like, sagging a little bit as well. Um, so, yeah, it literally does up, guys, with, like, one little pop of things. So, that's why I have, like, tucked it in to, like, try and, like, keep myself in a little bit more. So, yeah, this is definitely another boob tape thing, which is a little bit annoying, but it will pay off because when you're all, you know, stuck in and feeling really secure and comfortable, it will look so beautiful. And then these are simply the trousers that go with it. So, on me, they're quite fitted at the top. I feel like my bum looks so big in these. And then they are just, like, a really nice floaty leg at the bottom. So, yeah, I really, really love this outfit. I got the top in a six and the bottom was in an eight. I really, really like this outfit. Just think it's a little bit more statement -y, something a little bit more out there but still really beautiful obviously need to sort out the boob tape issue but once that's fixed it will look so so stunning one thing that i really want to say that plt do good is they really hit the nail on the head in the styling department there like i always feel like pretty little thing on one of them websites that just tick the boxes of styling they give you out for inspiration if you are someone that struggles to team things together you can literally just scroll through the website and just have a look and get a feel for things and yeah i feel like it really just flares your inspiration off now there was an outfit on there i think it might have actually been these khaki trousers and it was styled with pink and um, it just complemented so well i wouldn't have normally put pink with khaki but yeah it just bounced off it and i really really liked how it looked so i thought i would restyle it myself this is actually part of a co-ord which you will see very very soon and it's this beautiful structured blazer again probably do need some help in this region some sort of like lift 
some tape as well just to really secure and keep me in it also has shoulder padding you know just to give you like a really nice silhouette and then as to a typical blazer it just goes quite long so it's quite a long line blazer which i really really like it's got some really really nice fabric buttons on as well and then as you can see i've just simply teamed it with the sort of like light khaki trans from pretty little thing and i don't know i just think this goes really really nicely together like i said it wouldn't be my usual color combo i feel like the colors really complement each other really well so heels i've just kept it really simple just gone with a pair spec you could go for a black because obviously i've got a black bag then just teamed a black clutch bag and again the classic statement pretty little thing earrings that you're going to be seeing on me all the time now um, but yeah i really really love this so just quickly gone and changed the trousers to the matching coordinate ones i was telling you about so like i said this blazer is part of a coordinate it just goes to show how versatile coordinates can be you don't have to always wear them together you can take the blazer put it with a different pair of trousers take the trousers put them with a bodysuit the list is endless and that's why i love coordinates so much you do pay a little bit more for obviously a matching top and trousers set than that you would have dressed i think but you can get so many more outfits out of them that are so different so that's why i really like them i thought i'd go with this pink one because it's just a little bit different it's a real statement color yeah this is what it looks like just a blazer trouser combo i've already showed you the blazer like i said this does need some adjustments we do need to sort of like stick herself in so i'm not showing and popping out as much and then yeah i've just got a straight leg pair of trousers so i got the trousers in an eight i got the blazer in a ten so something else I need to tell you i originally got sent this in a size six but i actually went online and ordered myself and paid for it a ten because the six was just way way small even the eight would have been too small like the 10 just fits perfectly but yeah that's just a note on size and the blazer does come up quite small i originally got the six because Obviously, with it being plunge deck, I wanted to make sure it was going to be super tight and I wasn't falling out, but I couldn't even get the six done up. It was that tight. And then I got an eight in the trousers and they fit perfect. As you can see, I've teamed this look with white. Um, I got this bag from Pretty Little Thing ages ago. I love it so much, but they don't do it anymore. Um, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's where I did get it from. And then for shoes, just thought I'd quickly take them off and show you. These, again, are from Pretty Little Thing. They are exactly the same as the black ones. Spider Man white as well, and it's just one of them classic things, isn't it? When you like something and you know you're gonna wear it in one colour, you have to get the other colour as well. I don't wear white as much, admittedly, but I feel like in the summer I'll get a lot of use out of the white ones. And just the perfect heel load, these are so so comfy, and I just think they look quite expensive as well. So, yeah, grabbed them. Like I said, I did buy the heels with my own money. But yeah, another super cute outfit for out of the girls, or if you're going out with your other half. Okay, moving on to the next next look with short another trouser top combo i can't get another trouser top combos at the moment i feel like as we get to the summer you'll see me in a lot more dresses places and that sort of vibe but definitely during the colder months i just love a trouser and blazer combo so if you follow me on instagram i actually wore this exact outfit on holiday in fields ventura last week is it last week i don't even know i've lost track of the days right now um but anyway you guys are mad for this like the amount of saves i had on that photo like it was mental and yeah of course it was pretty little thing you know sorting the girl out and they actually started this outfit so kudos to pretty little thing for this i saw these trousers initially on the website and it was styled with like a green blazer i don't know if it was this exact blazer i don't think it was but obviously that just set off the inspiration so then i was like oh my god i need a lighter color green blazer to go with the dark green because it's just going to go so well but yeah these are actually different trousers to the last ones i showed you there's a slight difference in color so let me show you so these are more of like a true khaki whereas these are more like a i don't know they're a little bit more green i'm gonna say but yeah you can see the difference and these ones don't have elastic waistband like these ones do so yeah there are some differences just in case you're thinking that i'm wearing the same trousers i'm not so the trousers like i said elasticated waistband they're like a wide leg so the other ones are more of a straight leg whereas these are like a wide leg um they've got sort of like the cargo utility style pockets on either side which i really really like they fit a dream they fit so nice they're really comfortable i got these in a size eight and then i've just started a little plain black sort of like crop top with it and then as you you can see i've just got this sort of like mint light green blazer to go on top so it wasn't the exact one i wanted i wanted one more in sort of like a 
I don't know, like a cotton, whereas this is like a crepe fabric. So yeah, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it was the closest color to what I sort of envisioned. So yeah, it will do. It is actually part of the coordinate. And now it's got me thinking the coordinate's gonna look so stunning for this. And um, it just has a matching pair of trousers. So I may get them to go with it. I got the blazer in a size 10. Because of the fabric, it isn't like a big fit. So yeah, I could have even got like a 12 just to make it a little bit more oversized because this is how I would wear it. I wouldn't wear it on. And then to finish the outfit off, simply a perfect pair of heels, black clutch bag, and I've just kept the earrings in. I didn't actually wear these earrings when I was on holiday because they didn't come in time, but yeah. I think these finish it off really, really nicely. I feel like this would be a very typical me outfit if I'm going out with the girls for some drinks. Not that I ever do that anymore. Um, but equally, date night with that special someone. Okay, so the end is near. The end is in sight. I'm on to my last couple of outfits now. But before I do show you this outfit, I just wanted to show you one that I picked up. But I can't get it on, guys. One of them where I can't even get my foot through the um, trouser. Yeah, it's, it's that bad. Um, I don't know if that's me or, or what. But anyway, I still wanted to show you because it is so, so stunning. And I have actually had this outfit before, but in a couple of different colorways. I've had the white and the black, but I noticed they did this sort of like emerald green color, which I just thought was so pretty. Um, and just something a little bit different. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the size on this. I got it in an eight and I'm pretty sure the last one I wore was an eight. Maybe I need a 10, I, I just don't know. Um, let me know if you've had this and how your fit was. But yeah. I just couldn't even get my foot into this. There's just no stretch whatsoever. I think it's just the fabric, if I'm honest. It's one of those fabrics where there is just hardly any stretch to it. Um, but this is what it is. It's just this beautiful strappy jumpsuit with these tassels on. I would include a picture of the white one that I've got from Pretty Little Thing. I wore it for a night out ages ago. Probably about a good year, two years now. So yeah, this style has been around for a while, but I just think it's something that never really goes out of fashion and just something a little bit sassy, a little bit different and I thought it'd be really nice for a date night. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you. But like I said, it does run small. So make sure you size up or size up by two. Anyway, on to the next outfit. And again, we have some color shock. Big shock of the year for Laura. I'm experimenting with color. I think it's because I can just like almost see summer inside now. Like I'm feeling the summer vibes. Or maybe it's just because I've been on holiday and experienced the winter sun. One of the two. But anyway, I really, really like lilac. I know I don't wear it an awful lot, but I have had a couple of things for evening wear in lilac before. And yeah, there's just something about it. It's not a colour that I would normally think about wearing, but I feel like it complements you so well. So I come across this blazer dress. You guys know I love a blazer, and especially a blazer dress format. So yeah, I picked it up. So it's very, very structured on the top half, as you can see. It's got shoulder padding. It fits really, really nicely. I love the fact that it's got a tie waist because it can cinch you in and obviously make sure that you're not falling out. So you haven't got to wear boob tape or anything with this, which I really, really like. And then it just goes into a dress. It made me a little bit short as to what I'm used to, but it's nothing to moan at. It covers the bomb. It's long enough, so it is absolutely fine. It has a little bit of an asymmetric hemline going on as well, as you can see. But yeah, I really, really like this number. So if you are wanting to be a little bit more dressy and wear a dress, your date night then this could be a really really good option and i got it in a size eight for reference so moving on to the last item of course i had to have a little red dress in it's valentine's day a valentine's styling video wouldn't be a valentine's styling video without something red so i found this gorgeous little red number from pretty little thing and i just thought this would make the most stunning little dress for a date on valentine's i mean, you know it's very cliche with the red but i actually really like red on again it's never a color that i would go to or wear but i think it looks really sexy really girly really like feminine so let me come in and show you the so, size so as you can see it's this beautiful sort of like bandeau dress it looks so pale i did tan this morning but it's one of those like developing tans so it's clearly not developed yet yeah anyway as you can see it's this beautiful beautiful red bandeau dress in a satin fabric and um, it's got all this beautiful like ruched detailing this is one of them dresses that just really pulls you in flatters you you just feel so great in it and then as you can see it goes into this beautiful hemline like i absolutely love the hemline of this it's just so girly so pretty now the only thing with this dress is the sizing's a little bit iffy so i got this in a size eight which normally would be perfect but i don't know whether it's a combination of the fabric and there's not like a lot of stretch 
but they just feel like quite a lot of stretch and like the busty air bit it's just this bottom bit so basically with the bottom there's no elastic around the bottom so if you're a girl like me that's got a bum you know that you've got thighs you know you've got a bit of curve on you you just can't even get it on like this doesn't stretch for you to even get it on you should have watched me getting this on it was an absolute nightmare but i was determined to get it on to show you because i just knew it was going to look so stunning on so yeah there's just like no stretch or elastic around this bottom half at all so with that being said i would definitely definitely ensure that you size up because there's no way like even the smallest of girls are going to get that over their bum and legs so yeah that's the only downside i would say on this i would like the bottom bit to be elasticated which would have just made it a lot more comfy but other than that it is such a beautiful dress the quality is really nice there's also a zip so you can get yourself in it that way. I've just teamed it with sort of like black and gold. So I've got the black and gold earrings on from Pretty Little Thing, a black and gold clutch bag, and then I've also just got a little gold pair of heels on too. But yeah, this is the last outfit and I love it. So anyway, that brings us to the end of this Pretty Little Thing haul. I really, really hope you have enjoyed it and it has given you some inspiration for Valentine's Day. Whatever you're doing, whether that's going out with your gals on a girly night out, whether you're going out for food, or you are spending it with your other half and going on a date night, hopefully I have given you some inspiration and have got you covered let me know what outfits were your favorite in the comments bar below i am going to link all the items in the description bar as per usual so if there is anything that you wanted to check out then make sure you have a little look there for the direct links thank you all so so much for watching as always and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye